Hello everyone! My name is Fris from Fris Peruses and welcome to another video! This is going to be a daily vlog because I am taking myself out on a date. So we're gonna hit the town together. I'm gonna get food, we're gonna hit some shops, we're gonna see a movie. So that's all we're gonna be very very excited. I also will nip into the bookstore because I want to buy some books. But the most exciting thing that will happen today is I am going to get my new camera! And I am buzzing, I am so excited for this. I've been saving up for this and thanks to my lovely lovely Patreons I am able to buy myself a new vlog camera. So this is all gonna be very very excited but I am gonna take you along for the ride with me so sit back relax and enjoy <laughs>
as you can see, I'm currently back home. You will just see some B-roll of the day. It was a very long day, but I am very, very happy. I got to see the new Downton Abbey movie, which was fantastic. I sobbed at the end because it was very emotional. Um, but I love the movie. I went to the bookstore. I got myself some books. Um, and of course, and that's why we're here. I got my new camera. Can't you see how beautiful it is? It is just stunning. Bloop. And I love it so, so incredibly much. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to the camera so you can see the difference in the quality. And then I'm going to show you the rest of my haul because I got a lot of things. But I wanted to come on here to like show you the camera in person. Um, and I'm like so happy with it. Absolutely in love with it. But now we're going to switch over to the camera and I will show you the rest of the things that I got. Hello everyone. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm filming on my new camera. Can you see the quality? Like, hello. This is amazing. Amazing. So yeah, I wanted to switch my from my phone to the camera so you can all see the amazing quality. And honestly, I'm just so, so happy. I'm so grateful for today. And I just feel very, very blessed as a person. So I wanted to show you the rest of the things that I got. Because I got some bits and bobs. I will start with the accessories that I got from for my camera. This camera came in a vlogging package which had this gorilla tripod with it um it's not my favorite tripod ever but it will do the job i am planning on getting like a bigger tripod for like sit down videos like a life-size one but i didn't want to get that today because then i had to drag it loud like all the way into town and i didn't want to do that so i have this one um I'm currently using the little tripod that I have for my phone, which also works perfectly. Then I have an extra battery, which I'm gonna plug in to recharge now. But yeah, an extra battery because, you know, filming, I think that's just a really good idea. Um, and whenever I run out, I can use the other one without like have to wait and stuff. Then I have this really nice case. It's this really nice blue case for the camera and it like open ups like this and inside of it i got um sd card which came also with like the package um and i have one now that i still had and i have another one somewhere so i think i'm good on sd cards and i also got a sd card reader so you plug the SD card in here and then with the USB you connect it to your laptop and I still have an old MacBook so it does have like a USB portal. I think that's the accessories for the camera. Then I got something that is not very exciting. Well, I think it's exciting but I was there at the electronic shops anyway and I got myself an external hard drive for extra storage and this has five terabyte on it it was on sale and i was like yes please because i'm always running out of storage on my laptop and it's just nice to have everywhere in one place as like kind of a backup thing as well so you know this is just very very handy and i'm very happy that i have one now um that's all the electronics i did went to the bookstore um i didn't get as much as i thought that i would i would i thought that i would oh yeah i'm gonna be able like to pick up some some good books but honestly they didn't have that many that i was really interested in um, and I've been to that bookstore like so many times and you know there's only so many new stuff coming out so you know you come to a point where you're like oh I have to already I have to already I have to already so yeah 
Um, but I picked up Magic Lesson by Alice Hoffman. Um, this is the prequel to pra Practical Magic, which I've been really interested in to read. But I saw this and I thought, well, I should start with this one then. On the back it says, For centuries the women of the Owens family have been cursed. Any man who loves an Owen woman will die. It begins with a baby abandoned in a snowy English field in the 1600s. Gentle Hannah Owen takes the baby in and as the child grows, Hannah teaches little Mary about the unnamed art. Maria has a gift for them, a gift that many well prove her undoing. When Maria is abandoned by the man she loves, she invokes the curse that will haunt her family for centuries because magic has rules and they must be obeyed. So I'm very excited to read this. I've been interested in this for a while, so I will probably pick it up very soon. Then the second book and the last book I got is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I read Last Time I Lied very recently and I absolutely loved it. Um, so when I saw this book by Riley Sager in the bookstore, they didn't have any other titles by Riley Sager. This was the only one they had. I was like, I'm gonna snatch this up. And on the back it says, these are the only rules for Jules Larson new job as an apartment sitter at one of Manhattan's most high profile private buildings and home to the rich and famous. Recently heartbroken and practically homeless, Jules readily attempts the ter accepts the terms. When a neighbor confines the dark history Jules brushes it off as harmless and a ghost story, but the next day her new friend has vanished. And then Jules discovers that her friend is not the first resident to go missing. This sounds so good, I am like really excited to read this. Um, so yeah, I, I am very happy to have this now. But these are the only two books that I got from the bookstore. Honestly, it's fine because I spent so much money at the electronic store that, you know, it's it's all good. It's good. <laughs> then I went into Primark, which is also always lovely. And I absolutely love the home section of Primark. I'm not really a fan of the clothes. I do like the pajamas though. So I always go into the basement because that's where the home department is. And I fell in love every single time. But I got something that I had to have. Because it's a Winnie the Pooh teapot. And I must have this. Because it's for my TBR game. It's just, isn't it like so cute? I absolutely love it. Will you look at that? It's just so cute. It even has like the forget me not on there. Which is so my branding. So when I spotted this, I immediately wanted this for my new TBR game. Um, so yeah, you will probably see this very soon during the June edition of my TBR game. And I'm just, I'm so very excited about this, about a new teapot to the collection. So yeah. Um, and it says like, be kind. I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. And I think this was so cute. So I'm very, very happy with that. That is everything that I got. I honestly had an amazing, amazing day. Um, I started the day off with like sleeping in a little bit. Then I just got ready like in a very chill, nice way. Went to the town. It was a market there. So I got myself a spring roll because I wanted to snack on something. With a drink and then I went to the electronics store. I picked up my camera because I already bought it and paid for it because I didn't to want it to go like out of stock or anything so um and I saw that happening before with this camera so I was like very much okay I'm just gonna buy it and say that I will pick it up because I was very apprehensive about that I picked up the camera then I went out to pick the accessories like the battery and the SD card reader and like a little little nice cute uh, case for it and I got obviously the uh, extra storage which I wasn't like gonna buy but I did anyways because it was on sale and second I wanted to have it for the longest time then I went to look at some MacBooks and I was like almost drooling over there um, 
so yeah, that's like the the next project. I really want to save for to get that MacBook. I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna get. If you have like any knowledge about computers and stuff, do let me know uh, what should I get because I don't want to necessarily get something like really, really good and pay like 3,000 euros for it when it's not really necessary. Um, the main thing with my MacBook right now is it is from 2014, so it's eight years old. And I can't edit and be live at the same time. That causes problems because I think the processor just can't handle it. So I want to be able to do like multiple things and the laptop still working. That is the main goal. Otherwise, my MacBook works fine. You know, it's just old. So do let me know down below if you would like recommend. I do really want a MacBook, so don't come for me with like, oh, you should get like an Asus. No, 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 I want a MacBook. I just, I'm not sure which one I should go for. And I don't wanna unnecessarily spend a lot of money, if you know what I mean. Because, you know, you have so many variations. And if I can get like a MacBook for like 1500 instead of, 2500s and the 1500s still does everything that I want then I'm gonna go for that obviously um, So do let me know if you have like any recommendations for me um, That would be greatly appreciated. These were all the things that I got from today I had like an amazing amazing day after the electronic store. I went to the bookstore um, I got a smoothie there, I sat down there, just a little bit of a chill time and after that I went to Primark, just roamed around a little bit there and then I got food at McDonald's because I'm always craving McDonald's, honestly. I still have some leftover food. It's just honestly, I do this all the time. Every time I go to McDonald's I order like a shit ton and then take like half of me home i have like two burgers and chicken nuggets because they're you can reheat them obviously but they're also really nice cold and i just like to have something at home to snack on you know so you know maybe a little a little late night snack and then i saw the new downton abbey movie which honestly my heart it was amazing i knew the ending i expected it to happen in the last film but it didn't um, so I I knew it had to happen in this one. If you know, you know, it was very, very emotional and I was very crying at the end, but I loved the film. It's just so good. I love that band of characters. It's just, it makes me wanna rewatch, wanna rewatch Downton Abbey all over again, which I just might do because honestly, it's such a good show and I absolutely love it. I wanna close out this vlog by expressing my absolute, absolute gratitude to all of you. Without all of you and without you viewers, this would not have been possible for me to get a new camera. So thank you, thank you all so incredibly much. Special shout out to my Patreons because this was funded 100% throughout Patreon. So I cannot thank you enough for that. It's honestly, the support from all of you guys have been amazing. To invest into better quality so soon was just, it's just remarkable. And this community blows my mind every single time. I'm just, I'm very happy and very grateful to be in this position. And I honestly had the best day ever. And that's partially because of you guys. So I love you all so, so much. And even if you're not a Patreon or you can't afford it, when you watch my videos or leave a comment or push that like button or you tweet about me or you retweet about me, every single thing helps so much. And honestly, I just, I am so, so grateful. So a big, big thank you to all of you lovely, lovely watchers because honestly, you are the best people and I love you all so, so much. So if you had a bad day or you're not feeling too confident about yourself right now, just know that I am so grateful for you. 
and you can give yourself a little pat on the back because you're making my life just so incredibly full and wonderful. Thank you for that. That was it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little daily vlog. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I don't think it will be too long. But nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am going to leave you for now, but I hopefully will see you soon with another video on the new camera. Bye!